Good evening, everybody, and welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. I am Casey, the Rockstar Flipper. Welcome to all my new viewers, and welcome back to all of you that have been here. Uh, it's very late on a Wednesday evening. This video is probably going to make it up right at midnight, Wednesday, Thursday, August 29th, slash August 30th. The reason is I want to make a video, which you've seen the title, about the new California Proposition 65 law that just passed for online sellers and sellers of any type. Um, I emailed eBay and I emailed a few people that I know in California. I talked to some of my friends that are sellers in California and I tried to get some clear answers before I made this video. Now, I didn't get all the answers that I wanted, but I want to go over this with you. So Proposition 65 in California is a law that passed in the mid 80s, 1986 I believe, if somebody wants to quote me or fact check me on that, I think that was the year. And it essentially allows Californian consumers, anybody in California that's buying a piece of merchandise to know if that merchandise contains any harmful chemicals that will cause or potentially cause cancer, reproductive or damage to like fetuses and pregnant women, etc. So it's, it's a hazardous material law. And it was originally called like the Clean Water, Clean Material Act of 86 or something. They just call it Proposition 65 for short. So it came back up on the ballot this year in 2018 and they passed a new set of um, requirements and structure for this law, Proposition 65. You guys know we just had uh, the uh, primary midterm elections and the general elections in November, but it passed. And this is effective as of today, Thursday the 30th, uh, which it will be by the time you see this video probably. Um, and so what has happened is all of the online e-commerce websites are going into a mode of complying with California's new law because they don't want to be fined. Uh, which can happen if you don't disclose the um, dangerous content and the dangerous material. So when you go onto your eBay or your Amazon listing, and I would assume that Poshmark is going to add this, they should to comply with law. Uh, somebody that's um, on Poshmark today, I didn't do any Poshmark work because I'm a one-man team this week, so I'm way behind. Let me know if it popped up on Poshmark today. If it didn't, I'm going to do some cross-posting tomorrow, and I'll check on it for you guys. But there's a new box. And on eBay, I'm going to show you guys in one of these corners, you'll see it above my head somewhere, the box that shows where you have to fill in the dangerous uh, material information. Now, from what I can see, this box is not required. It is not a one of those starred boxes that you have to fill it in. Now, here's my two questions and my two problems with this. Number one is we don't know where our merchandise is going to go when we're making the listing at the time that we need to fill that box out. We don't know if it's going to California. Who knows? It could. So does that mean on the assumption that it could go to California, I have to fill in every one of my boxes saying this has dangerous material or this doesn't. If I only have to fill in the box for dangerous items, maybe my 1500 listings or 5000 listings or 800 listings or whatever the case might be, only 20 of them have dangerous materials. If I only have to go back and edit that, awesome. Um, I'll be no problem go back and do that. It's a little bit of work and it sucks, but hopefully there's like some copied and pasted, you know, paragraph that we can take and put in there. Um, if that's the case, then we need a list. And if anybody has this list of all the toxins and products and potential things that could fall in this category so that we know as sellers out of our thousand items, which ones we need to go back and edit. Hopefully that's all we'll have to do. Um, the other thing I saw on somebody in my Facebook group and thank you, you know who you are posted that you can buy a roll of 100 Proposition 65 stickers for 10 bucks. They're 10 cents each. You could buy them and slap them on every single bag. Now, those of you that sell 15, 20, 30 items a day, that could start to add up in cost. Um, maybe you only need to slap it on the items that could be um, dangerous and you don't have to put it into the listing. However, I don't think that slapping the sticker on it covers you. I think it has to be on the listing so that the customer knows before they make the decision to purchase it that that item could contain dangerous materials. Um, and if that's the case, why is eBay not making that box mandatory? And I think it's because some items are not going to require it. Of course, if I sell you, you know, this black napkin, it probably doesn't contain any dangerous materials. It's not going to require that box to be filled out or a sticker slapped on or whatever. And so they can't make that mandatory. So they haven't made it mandatory for everything. So I posted the, this thread in my uh, big Facebook group and essentially people said, I'm just going to ignore it altogether. And if people come on and buy my item from California, they should do the research themselves. Um, I'm going to caution you guys against that because 
if you decide that this napkin is not toxic and it turns out that it did contain it and you sell this item without filling out the box because it's not mandatory and you ship it and they set you up or it mails to someone that ends up finding out it's toxic or their kid gets sick or something and they say, hey, I bought this from Joe on eBay and they pull that listing and you didn't have it in there and all of a sudden it comes back on you, it could be real bad. So I need to find the list of what is included to provide you guys on social media and here on YouTube. I'm gonna try to find it tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do more research. It's my number one task tomorrow. If somebody has this list, can you please send it to me? Rockstarflipper at gmail.com. It would be very much appreciated. Thank you, two thumbs up if you do it and I will shout you out. I'll give you whatever you need. Um, but that's what I'm looking for. So I just want to give you guys the heads up. I will um, link some of the news stories down below, the main one down here in my description box. You can read up and Google all about Proposition 65 California. Um, it's pretty simple in theory. It's just simply you have to let California buyers know if something is toxic. And um, the difficult part comes in us knowing which items. And hopefully I can get that list for you guys and make this a little easier. Uh, in the meantime, I it only goes legal today, the 30th, when you watch this or whatever day you're watching this, it's probably legal by now. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go in and start looking for all my items to edit, but I am going to look for this list and try to get on it as quickly as possible. I'm sure they will give us a little bit of a grace period to, you know, they're not going to say, hey, you sold this item on August 30th and it wasn't updated, you're in trouble. There's got to be some sort of time allowance to get things up to date. So I'll check on all that. I'll get it up. I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Sorry this video is so late. I really tried to give eBay and everyone a chance to answer. Uh, I'm sure I'll wake up to some emails or some messages tomorrow with better answers and, and more information. And I will certainly pass that along to you in a follow-up video. So thanks for watching this. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Just wanted to make you aware of it. Appreciate it. As always, thanks for all the support, all the messages, the comments. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys who take the time out to follow, watch, and listen to these videos. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you again tomorrow on Thursday. All right, update, flashing update. I found the list, it's linked below. Use the link, I'll, uh, I'll put list of chemicals. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't looking at the right website, I was on the wrong tab or something, but I did find it. Uh, it's an interesting list, I'll leave it down below so you guys can go over it. Here's a picture of the downloads, just click on it. They're in uh, PDF downloadable format, so you can check that out. Huge update, if you still wanna send me any more information, please do use the comment section. You can comment with uh, any other further details you might have, but I wanted to make sure I got that in the video for you guys, because I did find it about five or 10 minutes after recording the previous clip, I was able to locate, somebody sent me in a text message, the link to try a different tab, and there it was. So down below, click on it, find it out. Any of your items that qualify need to have it put in the box and the sticker slapped on, at least in the box. The sticker is extra added protection for you. You don't have to order them, but it was a good idea from the members of my group. So thanks a lot guys, for real, good night this time. Enjoy your evening and enjoy your Thursday tomorrow and I'll see you on the live show. Catch you later.